Let's understand the internal structure of human heart. The size of human heart can be compared to one's closed fist. But where is the heart located in the human body? It is located in between the lungs, in the middle of the chest, behind and slightly left to your breastbone. But what is the function of heart? Heart functions as a pump to supply blood to each and every uh, tissue or cell of your body because the function of blood is to carry oxygen, to remove carbon dioxide, to provide nutrients, to remove uh, the waste material. So uh, it has to be supplied to each and every part of the body. So as you can see here, the deoxygenated blood is collected from all the organs of the body and it is entering the heart here. And by deoxygenated blood, I mean that it has less amount of oxygen and more of carbon dioxide. This blood is sent to the lungs where carbon dioxide is removed and more of oxygen which is present in the lungs is, uh, it enters the blood. And then that blood is brought back into the heart which you can see here and uh, uh, this blood which is called oxygenated blood which has more of oxygen is uh, circulated into the entire body parts if you see the structure of heart basically it consists of it consists of the chambers as you can see here the four chambers one two three and four it consists of certain blood vessels or these are the tube-like structures or channels which bring blood into the heart or move blood from the heart and then they also consist of certain valves which are present here now what is the function of these valves here as you can see this is the upper chamber which is the atrium and this is the lower chamber which is the ventricle and when the blood flows from atrium to a ventricle then the flow of blood should be unidirectional so the function of valve is to uh, allow only one way movement of blood now again you see half moon or semi lunar type of valves here so uh, again the function is same they do not allow blood to revert back into the ventricles so the upper chamber atrium it is uh, supplied with blood vessels which we see here vena cava superior vena cava which brings blood the deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body while we have inferior vena cava which brings deoxygenated blood from the lower part of the body and then this deoxygenated blood it moves into the lower chamber which is ventricle and from here through this pulmonary artery now this is these uh, two arteries and veins are exceptional arteries because normally artery it carries oxygenated blood but in this case it is carrying deoxygenated blood so that is why it is an exceptional artery and then this blood reaches the lungs and oxygenated blood it enters the heart through this blood vessel which is called pulmonary vein and it reaches the uh, atrium from the atrium again into the ventricle now when the ventricles they contract because heart is made up of muscles the cardiac muscles the blood is forced into this blood vessel which is called iota and then from iota it is circulated to the entire body so this is how circulation of blood takes place you can see the i have marked it here right side of the heart and left side so as you can see here the right side of heart it is receiving all the deoxygenated blood that is why i've indicated the blue while the left side is receiving oxygenated blood so you can see here from vena cava as the muscles of uh, the upper chamber they contract the water the blood sorry it moves into the ventricles from the vent again with the contraction of the ventricles the blood moves into the blood vessel that is pulmonary artery from the pulmonary artery into the lungs where all the carbon dioxide is removed and more oxygen enters the blood that purified blood or oxygenated blood it now again enters the upper chamber again to the lower chamber with the contraction and from here it moves through iota to different body parts now i have made this model 
of internal structure of heart with the soap and let's see how the blood moves in different chambers. As you can see in this model that here you have the auricle and these two are the superior and inferior vena cover. Here you have a valve which is called a tricuspid valve and this is the ventricle. This is the pulmonary artery and uh, here we have valves. So as the blood flows from the vena cava, superior and inferior vena cava, this is deoxygenated blood, it moves through the valves because of the contraction of the auricle and the deoxygenated blood it passes into the auricle like this completely. Now when this movement takes place the valves here they, they need to close down like this for unidirectional flow of blood and now these valves which are called uh, semilunar valves here in pulmonary artery they open so that the blood can move and go into the lungs. So this is how movement of blood takes place.